What's up, y'all? Today I'm coming to y'all with another unboxing. We got the Yeezy 380 Calcite Glow. The label, the box, once again. Boost on the side. Yeezy Boost 380. My first and only uh, 380. It's a pretty popular Yeezy uh, silhouette. Not as popular in the resale aspect. These these uh, silhouette is easy to get, man. You can get these off of StockX and GOAT even cheaper than retail most of the time. Um, the pair I got here is the Calcite Glow. Personally, my favorite 380 other than the OG colorway, which I missed out on when it came out. And the resale on that one is a little higher. So knowing that every time a 380 comes out, the resale is lower. I just waiting on this uh, Calcite Glow pair and scoop this up. And honestly, I kind of like it a little bit more because it glows in the dark. So we'll get into that right now. Here's the unboxing. Good old Yeezy Maxi paper. Here we go. All right, y'all. The Yeezy 380 Calcite Glow. And these look insane on foot, man. Um, so as you can see in the thumbnail, I'm gonna put in the thumbnail, the most comfy Yeezy, in my opinion, is a 380. Now, there's a caveat to that. The, the Yeezy 380 is definitely the most comfy Yeezy, in my opinion, if you size it right. The sizing on the 380s is really tight, man. I went, um, I went true to size, I think. I went nine. I, I could definitely done nine and a half, if not a 10, and it would have fit perfect. The size nine, it fits me good. The, the boost on this 380 is better than any other uh, Yeezy though. You get a lot of cushion here. I don't know if it's, they actually put more boost in it. it. It sure looks like they do. It sure looks like they got more boost in here, in this uh, section down here. It does look like it from the outside. I mean, I, I'm, there's no way to tell, but in my opinion, it does have a, a more cushion feel to it. You definitely f feel like you're floating more on, more on air, but uh, it is a little tighter right here in the toe box. So for sizing purposes, man, it, I like the silhouette a lot, but if you're gonna uh, get a Yeezy 380, unlike the 350, you can't get away with getting your true to size if, if you have a wider uh, toe. Uh, in the toe box, you really can't get away with it. I would go a, a half size up, not a full size up, especially if you're really wide footed, I would go full size up, but half size up, man, you can't go wrong with it. I think it would be perfect to half size up, I would have had a perfect fit. So it comes with these extra laces. So uh, this 380, this one is the Finney Loop System, bungee cord style. Like I said before, I'm a big fan of that. Big fan of that bungee cord system. I like that no strings look, man, clean look. You don't gotta worry about tying your shoes. And most of the time, these easy stay on your foot pretty good anyways. So let's get this box out the way. Here we go. You got your outside panel right here. You got the uh, silver swoosh looking uh, stripe here. Big fan of that. It looks really pretty, man. The daylight. Uh, it's like a, It's not 3M, but it has a sparkle to it. And the 380 itself is a sock liner type fit. It's like a big sock on your foot. And I will do an on foot to show you guys what that looks like. But yeah, here we go. You got your medial side. And again, it's that silver swoosh. It's an all white upper with a light green, like minty color to it. It's, it's hard to see on camera, but in person you can really see it. It's like a little mint. Color. And it looks really good, it doesn't it? doesn't pull away from the white look it has. It actually looks a pretty much white silhouette. From far away, it's going to look like an all-white shoe. All-white laces. Spare laces that come with there are all white as well. Here's the bottom. I have worn these. I wore them out one time. Okay. And you can see, as I'm already having now in the light, taking out the box, it's getting a little greener on the bottom. And I'll show a picture of how they look like once they're uh, charged up in the dark. 
These get really bright. These get really, really bright. Um, my favorite look of, of these shoes is the, how you look at it from the top. That top view looks amazing with the silk with these silver stripes. Man, it looks like fangs from the top, and that just could be me, but they look like fangs. Um, one thing I will say, I wore these one time, and the bottom yellowed pretty quick. It, not completely yellow, but it, some spots turned yellow, and it might have been what I was stepping on that day. I think it was dirt, but uh, it, they yellowed pretty quick, and that's more quick than some of my other pair of Yeezys, but. Could be because of the, the material for the glow. I'm not sure. If you know about that, please feel free to comment. I appreciate a comment in the uh, comments. Let me know about that. So sizing wise, like I said, go half a size up. Also, man, these shoe, this 380, uh, the pan, the sides, man, are open. Like you, this is a, a hole. You can see through that hole, these holes right here. Yeah, water, anything get in there. So that's one thing. If you don't like that, uh, that's something to look out for in the 380s. They are open. And I think most of them are like that. They have their holes on the side that are open to the foot. So, I mean, it's good for you get some more air in there, but you do not want to get caught with these in the rain. No, sir. All right. So quick, let me show you guys the, some padding right here in the ankle area. Good padding, man. I love the padding here. I think the 350s have them as well. Padding there goes a long way, especially for... Uh, your ankle. So here's the insole. Regular insole, Yeezy Adidas. Almost, it's the exact same insole as the 350s and the Quantums and a bunch of other Yeezys, man. Same insole. I, I haven't worn this shoe without the insole and I actually might try that pretty soon because that might be the perfect fit since I needed a half size uh, up. So we'll try that out later. But yeah, I wore them. I wore them a day and they're really tight at the, at the uh, toe area. And I know if I would have gone half size up, they would have been perfect. But first time getting a 380, got these when they came out. I wasn't sure. Um, I got these on GOAT. They came out and I missed the release on uh, Confirmed App. And GOAT had them a little bit below retail. I think now, as of right now, the resale has gone up on these. But... They're a beautiful shoe, man. And the glow-in-the-dark aspect looks really nice. And even during the day, like walking out, you don't need to have... You, it don't need to be pitch black for the glow to be seen. The, the glow is so bright on these, you can see them glowing just regular daylight, which I think is really cool, man. And, I mean, you're, you're kind of seeing it now. The, I got some window light right here coming through. And you can see some of the glow action happening between the shadows. And it's it's pretty cool, dude. So I'm going to do a quick off of video of this. And uh, show you guys the glow. It's already it's glowing right now. If I put this in the shadow, it's glowing really good. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I'll try to show you guys right now on foot. So, easy 380. All right, so right here, you can see me walking into a room, close the door behind me, and man, these are already charged up, and honestly, I didn't charge them up a lot. This is just some daylight that caught these shoes from the windows in my house, man. So as you can tell, they're really charged up with a little bit of light. They stay glowing in the dark, man, and this is it in a dark room, and it, even in daylight, you can get some good glow from these. They're real nice outside. Uh, you're going to get some heads turning your way when you're rocking these, man. I really like the glow in the dark. On these, it's very bright. Very bright glow in the dark. 
And I'm just going to leave you guys with a quick standstill of some photos of the shoes I took just with my camera phone. Complete standstill picture just to show you guys how much glow these actually have. I think the picture itself caught the glow much better than the video did because the glow on these in the dark room is just amazing. And I haven't even charged these up. I'm sure if I take these outside in a full bright day, the glow is going to be way crazier than this. Man, I love this shoe. Leaving y'all some standstills of this shoe. Y'all check the shoe out, man. Let me know. Please comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the vid, man. Thank you, guys.